high again. We're going to see the flyback circuit diagram. Okay, so as you see here, this is the input. Okay, so we have here the line and the neutral. Okay, so let's assume that the input value is 220 volt and 50 hertz okay so this is ac voltage here okay so the first component is the fuse as you see you can find a symbol of the fuse in this format or in this shape okay the same are the symbol of the fuse okay so as you can see here this is the fly back circuit diagram and here as you see we have this is the power input as you see we have 230 volts and 50 hertz okay so this is the line and the neutral here we have the fuse for the fuse there is two symbols as you see this symbols or this so the power or the voltage will pass through this fuse this is for the protection so for example let's assume that this fuse is or has as a characteristics 250 volt and for example 2 amps so if the voltage or the amps exceed this values this fuse will blow out and then protect other circuits okay so here we have the VDR or the varistor. This is also for the protection. It protects from the high tension. Okay. It can support until 280 volts. Okay. So as you see here, we have the CTN. Okay. This, this resistor also has about the same signal as the VDR. Okay. So this CTN limits the, the, the amps as you see in order to protect this capacitor so this CTN is made in order to protect this capacitor okay so for example we have here two amps or five amps it will lead just 0.5 amps for the first time to pass to this capacitor okay and then when amps 1.5 etc in order to protect this capacitor of course this all these circuits but especially for this capacitor the chemical capacitor okay and then here we have two capacitors as you see in parallel and we have tokens this is electromagnetic compatibility or electromagnetic interference this as you see components eliminate the high frequency as you see the signal here we have here a noise in this signal and after this signal is applied to these three components it become in this shape so the high frequency it eliminate the high frequency and lit just as you see 50 hertz to pass so here we have other capacitor this is electric shock capacitor this capacitor here is in order to avoid the electric shock okay and here we have the rectifier as you see with four diodes so this rectifier will rectify the signal and and then we will get this signal as you see normally here we have this signal as you see this is ac signal with plus and minus and when this signal as you see is applied to this rectifier it will become in the shape just a positive part we get and then as you see when this signal applied or applied to this capacitor or pass through the, this capacitor this is a filtering capacitor we will get this signal as you see almost continue signal okay so here as you can see we will get 310 volt normally here we have 230 but when this voltage pass through all these components we will get 310 volts okay so this 310 volt will pass through as you see we or will go to the transform as you see we have here the transformer okay as you can see so this transformer is connected to this resistor and to this diode and to this capacitor okay so this three component is here in order to discharge this transformer discharge this transformer when the power is removed, the transformer or this coil will keep 
the power inside it or the current exactly like the capacitor so this three compound as you see resistor diode and capacitor will charge this current because the current will pass through this diode and and then the, this resistor and then this capacity until this coil is fully discharged okay so here this 3 10 volt will go directly as you see to do transform as you can see and then also it will pass through this resistor as you see we have r1 with 470 kilo ohms okay this is a big resistor so this 300 when it passed through this resistor it will become about 9 volt until 18 volt so this voltage is the v in for the oscillator as you see we have here the oscillator so the oscillator when it gets its power as you see it will generate a drive signal this drive signal of course will pass through this resistor and will activate this transistor so this is a transistor as you see base collector emitter this transistor when it be activated it will generate as you see a frequency signal as you see in this shape as you can see so the high peak is 310 volt and here we have zero volt also the oscillator we will generate this signal as you see with a high frequency about more than more or equal 20 kilohertz okay this is a high frequency okay so this mosfet as you see the current will pass through this transformer and the power or the energy will pass to these coils and then here as you see the current will be generated and will be passed through this diode and this capacitor this is a chemical capacitor or a filtering capacitor so here for example we will get 9 volt and here the same working principle the, the current will pass through this diode and then it will be filtered through this capacitor this is a, a chemical capacitor and we will get 5 volt okay so in order to control this powers that is generated here in the output we have here an opto isolator or opto coupler so this 5 volt will pass through this resistor okay and then we will get here for example about 1.5 volt okay so this 1.5 volt as you see here this is an opto isolator or opto coupler that contain a diode and a photodiode okay and a transistor okay so when this diode get this voltage it will eliminate it and then the transistor will pass a voltage here okay okay and this value this value will go this is a feedback will go to the feedback as you see we have here feedback to the oscillator and then the oscillator will rectify and adjust this 5 volt for example let's assume that we get here 10 volt for example if we get for example 10 volt normally we should get 5 volt but we get 10 volt so this 10 volt will pass through, through this resistor we will not get here 1.5 no 10 volt means about 3 volt for example this 3 volt the light in this diode will be strong so here the value will be will increase okay that is generated by this transistor so the feedback the oscillator will adjust will adjust this signal okay and then in order to get 5 volt okay so this is the working principle as you see here for the flyback circuit diagram and of course this this is a start resistor normally this oscillator for the first time it is powered by this resistor through this resistor but when all these operations is happened this is this coil will be charged to power this oscillator as you see here so this coil as you see will power the oscillator through this diode we have here capacitor this is a filtering capacitor okay and here of course we will get the same voltage 9 volt and 18 volt and this resistor will stop working okay